Look what came in. Oh, ho, ho. it's the oil tank. This is a three liter oil tank, custom made, and uh, comes with a nice set of instructions right here from Light Engine Services in Salmon Arm, British Columbia. And this is going to go in place of that plastic tank that I didn't like. This is going to have much lower profile to it. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. So um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go and install this now and uh, um, follow along in my excitement. Uh, something new for the airplane, slight mod, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm um, I'm rambling because um, I'm trying to figure out what to say other than my old tank arrived and I'm going to be putting her in. So, uh, oh, I know what I need to say. Down there, there's a, uh, all right, down there, down there, a like button and a subscribe button. Be really cool if you like clicky on both of those. And maybe hit that little bell thingy with and it's like all notifications so that um, whenever I, um, um, you know, upload something about the madness happening here in the hangar, you get to see it. So, uh, last episode, I started that engine, but I was running it on premix because I didn't have the oil reservoir in. Now I'm going to put the oil reservoir in and do a few other little modifications, but I won't be starting it today. Um, uh, well, there will be another surprise on the next episode. So, um, yeah, thanks for following along. I appreciate it. Um, watching uh, some crazy guy in a hangar working on an experiment airplane. And, um, um, yeah, so let's uh, pitter-patter and let's get at her. Okay, I was going to narrate this whole portion of the build, which is basically cuts of me, um, you know, fitting and measuring and drilling and bolting and riveting. But I think, you know, this time I'm just going to go and, oh, there's a cut. I'm, uh, I'm just going to go and let it play and let you watch it and... Um, See what you think. Uh, leave a comment. See if you like it uh, with or without narration, or if you think narration is needed to kind of explain what is going on. And if that's the case, then I'll uh, I'll redo the video and um, and um, add some narration. Anyways, um, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. S uh, talk to you in a few minutes. Bye bye.
Okay, well, um, I guess we're getting used to these short videos. <laughs> um, I took some close-up shots and, uh, and whatnot, and hopefully you got the gist of what it takes to install this oil tank. And as you can see, it fits on there beautifully. Now, I, once I get the wings on um, and I get the, the covers across the top, um, I'm probably going to have to uh, drill some holes in, in the cover so that um, it, um, well, for the oil fill cap, that kind of stuff. But we'll address that when I get the wings put on and get all that stuff. So a little bit of cutting fiberglass may be required. But that's it. That is a 3 liter oil tank. Um, well, it's called a 3 liter oil tank, but apparently it only holds about 2.8 liters. Who cares? It's close enough. So 3 liters uh, will be more than enough, or 2.8 liters will be more than enough to run two full tanks of fuel based on fuel consumption and, uh, and whatnot. That, um, so that's a 63 liter tank or 17 US gallons. And that's a 3 liter tank, which is just under a gallon in the US. It's, uh, was it uh, 3.8 liters to a US gallon? Yes, uh, so it's a 3 liter or 2.8 liter tank, uh, so do the math, it's about two-thirds of a gallon, however many quarts that is, or cups, or, or spoons, or whatever. Sorry guys, <laughs> we've been metric for so long, but I've forgotten all of that. I actually grew up with the Imperial stuff, uh, and then uh, I was around when Canada went metric and had to learn both and it was a real pain I hated it. Now I kind of like it because it's all based on the number 10. So yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for following along uh, and um, with the installation of the oil tank. Uh, I can't finish the installation because I'm missing one tiny little piece that wasn't shipped but that's okay. I can pick it up at a hardware store which I'm going to right now. And that is a, um, a filter for the oil fil oil line. It's actually not a filter; it's a screen. So I got to see if I can pick one up. Uh, and and if not, then um, then I'll get Bob out and Sam and Art to Art to stick one in a in an envelope or something and, and mail it out to me. So uh, yeah, I kind of got missed in the packaging. So um, yeah, that's it. That's all there is. Um, thanks again for following along and. Um, well, we'll see you again here in the hangar, and remember, it's almost winter time, so keep your stick on the ice. Bye for now. Yeah, installing a new and better oil tank for the airplane. Much, much improvement. Uh, I, can I can recommend everybody else do that, because it's, uh, it's way better than the plastic tank. Thanks for watching. See you again in the hangar. Bye-bye.